Hi, I'm Lucas Stewart, product manager for the BSM2 Broadband Sounder with Chirp. We're here today to share some tips for setting up the product and maximizing performance. The Simrad BSM2 Broadband Sounder works with Simrad NSS, NSE, and NSO series. Utilizing continuous wave Chirp technology, BSM2 delivers five times better target separation, superb clarity from surface to bottom, as well as extreme depth performance. In short, the BSM-2 Broadband Sounder module is a leap forward in fish finding technology and an advantage at every depth. In this section, we're going to talk about installation. And the key to getting the best performance is choosing the correct Airmar broadband transducer. Airmar has a solution to fit every boat, through hole, in hole, tank mounts, and even transom mounted transducers. For a full range of Airmar's Chirp transducer offerings, visit www.airmar.com. The key to getting the best performance is to connect the transducer ID wire. This tells the module what frequencies that transducer was designed for and sets the power to be perfect for it. Once you've connected the transducer ID wire, we'll go into the menus and verify the installation. Go to your echo menu and go down to installation. And here you'll see the transducer model name. To see which frequencies this transducer can handle, you go to the frequency drop down list. And here you'll see the two chirp bands plus the individual frequencies and the ability to use a single frequency within the custom chirp bands. This replaces having to select a transducer from drop down. The key is to select the correct continuous wave chirp frequency range for the area you're fishing. From the moment you start any run in your boat, you should have your BSM2 sounder set at the high band frequency. The low frequency is selected when you notice a decrease in sonar performance at greater depths. By having two receivers in the BSM2 module, we can run the high band and low band at the same time, so you can compare them in marginal areas. For specific fishing situations, you can also select any single frequency the transducer is capable of producing. The first feature to adjust is clarity, so you can minimize the amount of clutter on your display without losing key targets. The zero setting allows for the maximum amount of clutter on the display, while the 20 clears the screen completely of clutter, showing only the largest suspended targets. A good starting point for clarity is 2, then gradually increase the setting to suit your viewing preference. The adjustable gain can be used to increase or decrease the amount of information seen across all depth ranges. To get the most out of your signal processing power, use the auto gain setting, then you can adjust or bias the gain up or down to suit your needs. One tip to keep in mind with BSM2. When adjusting these settings, allow one or two minutes between major adjustments, and the deeper the water, the longer you should wait. This allows the display to normalize the settings through the chirp sounder, which takes longer than traditional sonar. The color gain lets you adjust the color scene for detecting bottom hardness and to identify the size of fish. By using multiple colors on fish arches, as opposed to having them all the same color, you can identify the position of fish targets directly beneath your boat as well as their size. Color options with the Simrat NSS, NSE, and NSO series can play a key role in getting the most from your BSM2 broadband sounder. Bottom color tracking allows you to easily identify structure that is not the same type of hardness as the surrounding areas. Plus, you get the advantage of seeing fish that are on or near the bottom. Blue color background is great for easily identifying fish targets in open water against a dark background. White color background provides the best display visibility in direct sunlight conditions. You can also add the depth line setting which can be a white or black line on the bottom to easily identify fish on or near the bottom. Split screen zoom allows you to have a view of the entire water column, 
plus a magnified view of the area you're most interested in. You can magnify or zoom up to eight times the view of the entire water column. You also have the ability to scroll up and down the zoomed range throughout the water column. And you have the advantage of zoom bottom lock, which levels the bottom contour in rough seas so you can focus on structure and fish that are on or near the bottom. Using custom upper and lower limits is an exclusive feature only found on the Simrad NS series. Setting a custom upper and lower limit is ideal for trolling tactics when you want to selectively choose and monitor an area or range within the water column. So having custom upper and lower limits allows the fish finder to only have to look at the area that's on your screen. So instead of sending a pulse all the way to the bottom, which could be a thousand feet, you're only looking at the top 50 feet so that the scroll speed can be set to the shallower depth, gives you a faster scroll, and does not stretch your pixels as if you were looking at the full thousand. As you can see, the BSM-2 broadband sounder with Chirp provides a unique advantage on the water. For more information on Simrad products, visit simradyachting.com.